I mean, let's say his wife did run off with somebody who I do I do not believe that happened, but let's say that she did. And then ten years later, he made an offhand remark to somebody like, Yeah, I killed her. Highly inappropriate thing to joke about. Right. But it doesn't mean he wouldn't do it. You're right, exactly. And and just because of these offhand comments too, I, I really like I don't take what somebody says. If somebody says something and then there's like evidence to also back that up, to me that's pretty strong. Mm-hmm. But just somebody saying somebody said something, people say dumb things all right. the time. Right. You know, like like that is not enough evidence to say, yeah, this person definitely did it. It's certainly not enough evidence to get somebody convicted. Right. And in, that's in my opinion. And that's exactly where where I stand with this. Like right now when you and I are recording we're on the record. So what we say, like, we we have to be somewhat professional. I mean, <laughs> to a degree. But when we're not recording, I mean, I, I don't I don't think I'm really, like, giving anything away here. We'll make inappropriate jokes. <laughs> Sometimes, you know? yes. Yeah, and, like, I would hate for that to be used as evidence against me, me. because I don't mean any of it. Right. And you know that, so it's okay to say it to you. But... But if some like third party heard it and didn't know that, then they'd be like, that guy's joking about putting somebody in the sewer. Like <laughs> the only thing, the only thing that I find suspicious, the only thing in that you've read that makes me think he might not be guilty is the fact that it sounds like they did a pretty thorough job of looking over his property mm-hmm. and they did not find any remains. Right. Which granted for those that don't know Sturgeon Bay, there's a lot of water there. I mean, this body could have been dumped in water. It's, yeah. it's in the middle of nowhere. There's a lot of countryside around it. So it, he could have just disposed of the body in some other way. But that is weird to me. Like, I feel yeah. like. But then again, they also did his Michigan property, which to me, I'm, I'm I guess I don't, I'm not a killer. So I, I don't think like a killer, I would think. But do you really think somebody's going to kill somebody and then drag them? All the way from Wisconsin to Michigan, well, to, to get to, and then dispose of the body. So that's also very strange. It's it's strange, but I want to make this clear because I don't think I made this very clear during the way I told the story. They lived in trailer parks. When he moved to Michigan, he literally brought his house. Oh, yeah. So that makes it a lot easier then. Yeah. Yeah. That makes it a lot easier. That's interesting. Yeah. So yeah. it's it wasn't just like he put her in the trunk of a car. Like if she was in the house, he could easily He'd move the entire house. house. And then and then maybe because wherever he moved to might have been out in the middle of nowhere, he has a lot more freedom to dispose of the body the way he does. But still, it's very interesting that they didn't find anything. Because at one point in time, he said they checked like six locations in his... Did I understand that right? The the dog reacted as though there were six spots that smelled funny. And so, then did they, and then they checked those spots. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And didn't find anything. Right. Yeah. So So that's, okay. So yeah, it sounds like we're actually very much on the same page here because yeah, like I, I am fairly confident this guy is guilty. Like it would, you would have to convince me that he's not guilty Mm -hmm. if I was on that jury I would not have convicted him based on the version of the story that I know. Mm -hmm. Because that's... No body is one thing. People have been convicted of murders with no body. Like, you can get rid of a body. There's nothing here... There's no evidence. Yeah. (laughs) You know? If If you don't have blood, you don't have a murder weapon, you don't have a confession, if you don't have anything other than he was the one who was going to profit and he's made a few inappropriate remarks to people, that to me is not enough to show murder. Even though, like, again, he probably did. That doesn't overcome that, you know, that reasonable doubt threshold for me. I still have a little bit of a doubt. Yeah. (laughs) It's a very small one, but I have a little bit of a doubt there. I mean, you, you still have to, I mean, you have to look at it from the perspective of, like, if I was being personal, I would say, yeah, this guy probably did it. He probably should go to jail. But at the same time, with what evidence they seem to propose in me understanding the way I think the legal system is supposed to work, this guy absolutely should not be in prison 
for it. Well, the legal system works the way the jury wants it to work. So if you're, right. so if you're, okay. on, the, if oh, you're yeah. on the jury, then that's true. But then you would say he's not. But but if it's my understanding of correct, is they appeal this now, it's going to go back to a judge, mm-hmm. and the judge makes the decision on whether the appeal goes through or it or if he stays in jail. And I, I feel like the judge is going to say no. I, this guy's got to be let out because there's no evidence here. Well, maybe we'll see. I I feel like the judge would probably let it slide unless they've got a really clever argument, but we'll see. Really? Even with zero? I mean, because what you said there, there is some evidence, but the evidence that there they isn't, person... No, there isn't evidence. Yeah, the, it's The just evidence the, is really shaky evidence. It's like people saying things and like, oh, he said this to me and stuff like that. So Yeah, the entire evidence is them interviewing people about comments that he made and how their relationship was uh so it's like that is not to me so strong evidence why do you think on appeal the judge would not let him off because i don't know what the appeal would be because they have to have a reason like to say in this case i mean couldn't it be a appeal just be there's no evidence <laughs> Yeah, but that isn't, like, how an appeals court works. An appeals court, like, you have to show an actual, like, legal error in how the trial was done. Okay. So, like, if they go back and they're like, okay, the investigators thought there was evidence, a preliminary hearing thought there was enough evidence, it went to trial and the jury thought there was enough evidence— the appeals court is probably not going to overrule that because it's already gone through, through the multiple, multiple so, you know, steps. And, and so they'd have is, to actually show that the prosecution did something inappropriate to to, to, to get, get it the, overturned. To get the conviction. They would have had to say some false information or something that they could present and say, they said this, but it's not true. Yeah. Like that's interesting. Yeah. Appeals court doesn't like go back and look over the whole thing and like re-decide the case. That isn't what an appeals court see, and is. I, okay. This is like I said, based on my knowledge of the criminal system, I would feel like this would get, he would get out. But you're right. If that's the way it works, then I could see it possibly not getting out. But I do. I don't know. Because it is funny because you I want don't... To talk, you want to talk about an appeal, an appeals case to a trial. You want to come back for the next Fox City's Murder Mayhem yeah, episode okay. where we will talk about a murder case that got appealed. appealed and he got off? Hey, or, you have to wait for that, for that episode. episode. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, like with this, ep- with this one, I do thoroughly believe, based on what you read, it's got to be him. It's got to be him. Yeah. The other thing I find really interesting, though, about this is... What is the deal with this woman? Because she had the same <laughs> problem with every husband she had. Yeah, they were all saying kind of the same thing about her. Yeah, and and I just find that interesting. Like, was she? Because I know you said at one point, like, I don't know how much of this is her because some of the stuff they're saying is pretty yeah. crazy. But but they all said she was overbearing. She was control freak. She was running off with other men and stuff like that. And that I just find that yeah. Yeah, I don't. I, not not that it's okay to kill somebody over any of that stuff. She w- sounds yeah, like she I don't was a really pretty wanna... terrible wife. <laughs> you know? I don't want to like say bad things about her, you know, because she's dead, dead now. Like that's I don't want to say mean things about a murder victim. But yeah, there's there's something there. Like I don't I don't know. And to put it, to put some of this in context. I should be clear, like, if you don't know, it used to be harder to get a divorce than it is now. And so a lot of times you'd have to kind of, like, you'd have to fudge it a little bit. You'd have to be like, you know, they were cruel and inhumane. And, like, if you actually looked at what they did, it, what they did was not cruel and inhumane. And so that, but you'd have to say that to get the divorce. That And that that's probably exactly it, because those were the words... That really, like, what was this woman doing to these people? But yeah, when you maybe, think of the word "cruel," what she was doing is probably not what you think of as cruel. cruel. She would; they were just using that word, yeah, because it needs to be there. Otherwise, the divorce won't get approved. So, right. yeah, okay, I can see that. I mean, as she's clearly picking husbands that she does not get along with. That that well, part is true, right? Every it, it seems like every one of her husbands was abusive, so. Yeah. That's probably just a strong fact that she just didn't pick good guys. 